Okay, the battle box came. It's smaller than usual, so it's different stuff, obviously, every time. So it's not as good as some of them, but it's not horrible either. So you can get the book if you want to look at that, but you can look at that online if you want. Depending on which box you get, you know, we have the uh, basic, which you get that. I already advanced, so I get this and one item. If you get this one, you get this, this, and one item, and then you got a pro one. If you get the pro, you get everything else in that too, so if you're wondering how that works, that's how it works. It's quite expensive. It's really nice though. But if you don't watch them on Netflix or whatever, you do that too. But we did get some uh, water repellent. Which would have been nice in the winter time, but... <laughs> We do have summer showers, so. But it does say you gotta read directions. It says let it air dry for 48 hours or put in the dryer on low heat or something. Machine dry on medium heat. So I would just let it air dry, it probably works better, but gear aid. Basically, this is just a coupon code for some first aid stuff, and same with this. This tells you how to use the first aid stuff that they gave you. It's a really nice, high-quality piece of paper. It's really glossy. So, I got some micromanage devices, which is funny because I literally just bought some things like this from Target. Little pull the white tab gently to close the one. Yeah, I got some of these like butterfly closures from Target. They come tw 12 little ones in a pack for like $3, so I bought two of them. So I'll put this in on my first day too. And then we got Nano Striker XL. Fire starter, this is cool. It's waterproof. You can refill the rod in there and it burns super hot. So. It's got a little spring that you can clip it to stuff. It's anodized aluminum. Made in America. Get 3,000 strikes per rod, so that's cool. This is my nice. I'm literally going camping either next weekend or the weekend after or both, so that'll be cool. Nice and small. I can put it in like a box easily. I could put this probably with my. Uh, Waterproof matches. So that'll be cool. It's nice and lightweight too. Here's like a gauze sponge. Which I have athletic tape, so if I need four four inch by four inch, how many are in there? There oh there's two four inch by four inch pads. So if I have a big wound, I can put this on there and put the athletic tape and cover it up, which is nice. So this is gonna go right my first aid. Good till two good until 2024 <laughs> so just read it up in case I have to use it soon apply new stat directly to the inner surface of the wound minor cuts apply for pressure maintain pressure pack wound and secure bandage if necessary if bleeding continues apply new stats directly to the bump so that's cool if you have a bigger wound you can just put it on there and wrap it and I have tons of wrap because you can get it at Walmart for like a dollar fifty that's really nice stuff. So these are, I think, little ones. You get two of them. And, well, they're, they're bigger than the Target ones. Target has like a 12-pack for like 3 bucks or something. These look a little bigger, which is nice. So I have nice stuff to add to my first aid kit, which is always great. And then these are interesting, dude. I was like, is this candy? It's definitely not candy. You get 15 things. Um, you can clean your teeth. So that's different. Rip the pack, swish it around your mouth for 60 seconds. <laughs> dispose of responsibly. But dispose of what? If it's in your mouth, you, can't you rinse it out? So, I mean, usually if I'm camping, I just bring my toothbrush and toothpaste, but 
I could probably give this to a homeless person. They would love it. And have clean teeth, maybe. I don't know. I don't see a use for this. I guess in a survival situation, if you didn't have a toothbrush and toothpaste, but I don't see the need for this necessarily because a toothbrush is like a dollar for three, and toothpaste is a dollar. But that's interesting. And there she is, a small box this time. I don't know, like, some boxes have radios and stuff, like if you look at the picture online, but it doesn't specify which box you have to do to get that, you know what I'm saying? So, I have one that I explained last time that has the radio in it, the Bofang radio, which would be cool to have. I might actually switch to a Pro Box one of these days, because... I always see the Pro Box stuff, and this is pretty cool with a wallet. This is $80, so if I just spend a little more on a Pro Box, I can get this. That's kind of cool. I don't really have a radio, but I don't really need a knife. I have a buck knife, and then I have a Gear 8 knife they gave me, so I don't want to get a Pro Plus. But now, what's funny is when they deliver your Battle Box, when this ships, or when it's almost your house, they charge you for the next one fast, so be careful with that. So if you want to switch, you got to switch super fast before it gets to your house. I'm not sure if I can switch, but I can probably email and switch if I want to for the next one. Just try it out for one time. You can pause it if you want to read each one easier. So this is cool. I, w I wouldn't mind having this. Nice slim wall that you can like, wear on her neck. So let's see. This box was almost... I think it was like... I'm not sure. It was under 100 bucks. I know that for sure. But shipping and stuff was like 15 bucks. So I think it was like 80. So here's... You gotta add this up. It's about 18. 22. 30. 40, 50, 60, 70 bucks right there. So, I mean, it's not exactly getting more than what you're worth in this one, I guess, but <laughs> especially because the shipping is not cheap. So, I think this box is about 80 bucks and you're getting about $80 worth of stuff, so. I thought the box would get better over time, or maybe, but it's clearly completely random. It's completely random stuff this time. <laughs>